At first, we were only doing three live sessions a week. We bumped it up and we've been doing four live sessions per day. We've been getting a lot of messages from our members saying, you know what, I'm in a funk. I'm feeling really depressed over all of this. A lot of people are drinking. A lot of people are not in a good place. With the unemployment being as high as it is, with the isolation, with the stay-at-home order, now what's happening is suicide attempts are high. Domestic violence is high. People are gaining weight. People are feeling depressed. The mental health is deteriorating. People have reached out to us and they're saying, when are you guys gonna open? When are you guys gonna open? Coach Ian and I came together. We said, we can open up safely for our members that wanna come in. This is where they come. This is where they don't have to worry about, do the kids do their homework? They don't have to worry about dinner. They don't have to worry about cleaning up. And then also this is where people come to relieve themselves from like a stressful day at work. The government's telling us to keep masks on and to maintain social distancing, but they're not talking about the dangers of how isolation is affecting people. It's important to keep active and to find something that drives you and makes you feel good. And obviously the gym is where it's at. Working out is important because it boosts your immune system, makes you stronger, it promotes longevity. We have to evolve. There's new things that we have to change in our daily routine, the workouts, everything has to change in order for us to follow the standards and follow the guidelines. If you want to feel safe and feel immune, then you have to work out. That's just key. Exercise is important to keeping you sane, keeping your hormone levels in check, making sure that you don't get depressed. Before COVID, we would rotate to different stations. So we'd be sharing equipment, we'd be sharing resistance bands, weights and everything. We're obviously not going to be doing that anymore. So if I touch a piece of equipment, that equipment is staying with me the entire time. We'll be taping off areas so that they are eight feet by eight feet. And that's basically my area that I'm allowed to work out in. You're not moving from that area. You're keeping your equipment with you. Once I leave that area, there's one way that we're coming into the facility and then there's one way that we're exiting as well. Well, everyone's maintaining their distance. Nobody is physically in anyone else's area. No one's touching anything. There will also be walkways. We want to bring our members in here because we do care about them, care about their well-being. We would never put our members in danger. That is not anything that we would ever do. We feel that we can bring our members back and do it in a responsible manner so that we are maintaining social distancing and we're taking every proper precaution, not having them touch anything, having them sanitize their hands as they're coming in, sanitize their shoes as they're coming in, sweating on a beach towel, taking a half hour after that workout to actually sanitize the equipment and clean up after them. Let's face it, people are at home right now working from home, they're homeschooling. I mean, this is tough. This is a complete adjustment that none of us are used to. It's difficult. Getting back in here and having some type of normalcy again will definitely help. Our main purpose is to serve our members. When I look outside and I see a parking lot that's full in the same street is Farmer's Market where people are just walking. They're not social distancing. Seeing a line full of people and when they go into Home Depot, no one's social distancing, no one's wiping down surfaces. And same thing when I go to Target, when I go to Costco it's all the same as a small business owner I feel that we could serve our members and keep them safer than what has been deemed essential you're always told like don't take your work home with you you're taking that stress from work mixing in with the stress from the household it's really bad right now so Gina and I want to open for our members that are feeling this way we're still going to offer virtual training if people don't want to come in and work out. This way we serve both members. We do realize that people don't feel safe coming in. If we don't feel safe coming in, we're still going to serve those members too. We're not just catering to one group. We want to service all our members and we're going to go above the norm to service our members. The workouts you come in here, you get a good sweat in, energy's high, you're around people that you know, you're around your friends and at home, you're not able to do all that. Nobody can buy weights right now. We're trying to use chairs, we're trying to use cans of soup, we're trying to you know, whatever we can, grocery bags but it's just not the same. So when they come here, their energy is high. They see their friends, the communities there. No one's taking the time to tell you, focus on your nutrition. We offer free nutrition for all our members. We're closed and I can drive down the street and get McDonald's, which is deemed essential. They're not telling you to get the proper amount of sleep. They're not telling you to get your workouts in. They're not telling you the things that it takes to build up your immune system. They're telling you to put a mask on and social distance. Those are the things that local government is telling us to do. We could safely come in here, social distance, wear a mask, and 
go above and beyond what the government is telling us, teach people about nutrition, making sure they're drinking their water, making sure they're getting the proper hours of sleep and getting their exercise in. But we're not hearing that at all. No one's advocating for that. Whatever it is to help the person improve their fitness, mind body is essential. No matter what happens, one thing you can't rely on is the community. We've proven time and time again that when something happens in the gym, we come together, we rally as a community to support one another, whether it's breast cancer, whether it's a homeless family due to COVID because a mom lost her job and they're living in a car, we raise money and we come together for that. If it's the downtown woman's shelter, we'll raise money for that. We always rally. The community is stronger. We can't sit and wait for the federal government, for the local government to come in and tell us when to open and how to take care of ourselves. Everyone is divided. It's either you wear a mask or not wear a mask. There's no one in the middle. They're separating us. And right now we can control our community, control over what they touch, work out for a half hour, leave, exit one way different from the entrance, hand sanitize their hands when they leave, limit the restroom. We do that to make sure that everyone is safe and that we reduce the risk of spreading germs. Our number one value right now is to provide everyone with the tools needed to strengthen their immune system, nutrition guidance, and the exercises, holding them accountable to these habits that we always talk about.